Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Kentucky Route Zero. This is Noxite, and we are back with our second episode of the restart of the series because I never finished the first beginning of the series two years ago. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the first episode and uh, all as eager as I am to carry on and find out where this game goes because it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, the atmosphere is incredible and I'm really enjoying it already so far. I've got all the chills down my spine and blah blah blah. Um, anyway, uh, let's get back to it. So, just a recap of what happened last time. Um, we stopped by a gas station on our route to deliver a package to Five Dogwood Drive. Um, however, Five Dogwood Drive, the only way to get there is through the Kentucky Route Zero. Okay, route, well, Route Zero. However, seems a little mysterious how to get there. And something is happening now. Are these clues? I've got to go on the Route Zero by myself. <laughs> Amazing. I think this is restarting the lyrics now. Okay. Yeah, restarting the lyrics. Conway gets back in the truck. It's not time to go. Let's get back in the truck. Amazing. So they were telling me that I've got to go to the Route Zero myself. <laughs> I've got to go all there alone. Um, okay, no, no, sorry. Uh, let's remember the route here. We have to go no north to the artificial limb factory. And then we take a right once we hit it, so... Oh, oh, I'm guessing that is the factory. So we went a little bit the wrong route there. So I'm guessing... A cheek runs alongside the highway and then turns towards a dirty brick building. A grinding drone from within the building is faintly audible from the interstate. Floodlights on the lawn illuminate smokestacks. At the edge of the building's parking lot, a large sign, partly obscured by trees, reads Amma Artificial Limb Factory. Um, so yeah, as I was saying with the story, uh, we were instructed by the man at the oil station to talk to Marquez. She might know where the Route Zero is. Unfortunately, upon visiting Marquez, we found out that she died a long time ago. She no longer exists. Um, or he, I'm guessing it's a he, and there we met Mark, um, Weaver, a strange character who seemed to have known, she knew everything about us, we knew nothing about her. Um, she did say, however, that, that she had a sister, let's not go on the on-ramp yet, she did say she had a sister or something who fixes TVs uh, somewhere around do you know what? I'm not too sure. So, tell you what, we'll go to the on-ramp. Uh, let's find our way into the Route Zero. Drive there. Scene three. We're speeding through these. Elkhorn Valley. Speak to blue. Every time we go to a new place, we like to speak to Blue. Conway brushes some dirt off Blue's hat. How's it going, Blue? Huh. Not sure the lady was right about the unwrap to the Zero being here. And I guess you can't just tell... I guess you just can't tell with some folks. They're liable to run around just... Run you around just for kicks. Well, try not to get frustrated. Let's try it. Let's go into the on-ramp. 
We seem to have left the car engine on, I just noticed. Oh, hello. Shannon speaks into the large brick cell phone held up to her ear. Am I choosing what set Shannon's about? Who the? It's $200 for two weeks. That was the, uh, that was the phone. That was the other person on the phone. I guess he can't just kick me out for another week or two. Yeah, and I appreciate that, but... Okay, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Love you. Shannon hangs up the phone. No work tomorrow. The end is the other way around. Am I Shannon now? Excuse me, ma'am. I saw the light was on, and I'm, I'm looking for the on-ramp to... Are you here to kick me off the property? Oh, no, no. I guess you don't belong here either, do you? Do you work for the power company? The power company? Oh, no. Uh, I once worked for an electrician for a few weeks, but I sort of drifted on before I really learned anything. I get it. You're a drunk. Nah, I do a pretty good job now. I, I keep sober. I've got a gig. Here, here's what it is. I drive deliveries for a shop called Lysette's Antiques, and I'm out trying to fi finish this job. You're making a delivery to the mine? Oh, uh, no. I have a delivery for five Dogwood Drive, and I can't remember ever seeing that address before. Now, I heard I need to take a highway called the Zero, so I met this young lady m name of Weaver Marquez, and she sent me this way, uh, and so here I am. Uncommon kind of place for an on-ramp, but that's what it's been like so far anyway with... What? Uh, Weaver Marquez, do you know her? So you saw her tonight. I know Weaver. She was, she's my cousin. I'm I'm Shannon Marquez. Oh, you're the one who fixes televisions. That's right. Did she tell you that? Too? Of course she did. Weaver doesn't lie. One time when we were younger, she told me my dad had been in a ca terrible car wreck. There was crushed metal everywhere, and we'd be hearing an echo through the house for years. She said, I was very upset crying and then my dad walked in the door just come back from a trip to the junkyard collecting scrap metal to fashion into wind chimes i was angry but she said it wasn't a joke and it wasn't a lie at the time i thought she meant it was a riddle or a puzzle but weaver's not a puzzle she's a mystery i've switched characters again it seems <laughs> so what are you doing down here shannon I talked to Weaver earlier this evening, too. Or anyway, she talked to me. It's hard to tell if she's listening sometimes. Weaver told me I had to come down here to the old Hellcorn mine. She said I'd find something I've been looking for. What are you looking for? I'm not exactly sure. I have a few ideas. I'll know it when I see it. It's not such a bad thing, you know. Showing up now. All told, I'd rather not go down there alone. Your dog should stay up here, though. It's it's no place for a dog. This is an old mine. It runs pretty deep and tangled. If we're gonna go down it, find your on-ramp and whatever else. We've got to keep our bearings. I don't want to get turned around. I've got some gear here to measure conductivity, frequency, response stuff, stuff like that. Maybe we can find a way to put a signal out ahead, do some anal analysis, and... Figure out what kind of topology we're up against? Uh, pff, sure. Let's look around. Okay, so we found a new friend. Shannon. My, yeah, I'm still controlling Conway. That was weird how I switched to controlling Shannon there for a second and then it switched to Conway mid convo. There's a PA. That run in, that runs into the mine's PA system. Do you think it still still works? Uh, there's only one way to find out. All right, give it a whirl. Ah. Uh. <laughs> uh, is anybody down there? Nothing. Hmm. 
Uh, there's no power. Yeah, okay, even when this old mine was up and running, it was tricky to keep stuff powered. You know, the miners used to have to pay just to run the fans into the lights. Yeah, they got paid in these shitty plastic tokens. Coal script, you know? And if you want to run the fans for a bit to clear the air up, well, you have to put a token in. My parents used to work here. So did Weaver's parents. I guess a lot of folks' parents worked here. Can we power it up? I bet we just have to free up some power for the PA system. Everything is rationed. Here, set up that lamp of yours and I'll go pl unplug these ceiling lights. Um, <laughs> I tried to think of something clever to say. I heard the speakers back here crackle a bit. I it's on now, right? Try say something into the mouthpiece. Well... Okay, I, I hear you. We need to measure the echo delay time and figure out how deep the tunnels run. Just make some noises into the mouthpiece. Uh, I'm gonna clear my throat. <clears throat> Hums a deep tone. Mm. Spits. <laughs> Damn, that's a long delay. These tunnels run deep. I bet some of them are raptured or joined up with a cave system. Alright, I'll set up my spectrum analyzer. So just say something into the mouthpiece and we can get a sense for how narrow the mine tunnels are. Don't be shy, just say anything that comes into your head. Tell me a story about something or what did you have for breakfast today? Here's a story. I used to work doing roof repair. My boss got a real big job out in Louisville. It should have taken us an hour to get there. But then a thunderstorm hit and it was too late anyhow. Got it. Looks like the tunnels are pretty cramped. Yeah, low ceilings. I hope you're ready to stoop a bit. Uh, you're probably used to it. One more test. We just need to know if the air is breathable, or if it's too thin or too dense. Just sit real close to the mouthpiece and breathe. I'll measure the res resonance of your breath with the air in the tunnels. Just try to relax. Try to breathe naturally. Breathes and thinks about the road. Breathes and remembers when he was younger. And some pretty strong readings here. I think we're in good shape, but keep at it for a minute. Breathes and visualizes a cold drink. Breathes and relaxes as a peel of feedback and loose rock engulfs him. Oh, jeez. We messed that up. <laughs> Scene four. Alcorn mine. We're some, glad we're still in there. Jesus, are you alright? What the hell? Uh, I'm okay. Oh no, my leg is stuck. <laughs> Shit, okay, I'm gonna pull you out. We have to get you out of here. There you go. Okay, are you hurt? Can you put any weight on that leg? It's fine. Just try to stand up. Careful, I I'm right here. Damn. Don't worry, I've got you. That, that leg is in bad shape. Here, let's get you onto the tram. There you go. Now, let's see if this thing has power. Oh, well. Okay. <laughs> There's some luck, right? We should be able to ride this tram right out of the ex auxiliary exits. If there are any. I think there are. What about Weaver? We'll just find the exit. And then figure out what to do from there. That's our first priority. So, the controls are over on your side. Let's get moving. So I can turn off the lights as I travel. Uh, where is this going to take us, man? We are digging into some old stuff here. I keep thinking maybe I should be turning off my light ever so often to like see things. You know, ever since I saw that dice only in the dark. Oh, 
There's a turntable. Can we go further? No, you know what? Let's go back. Let's use the turntable. What's it do? Oh, here we are. This may be hard to believe, it's hard for me to believe myself, but this whole branch was underwater last I heard. How did that happen? Some careless miner or some un untended machine bored through an in into an underground lake. The water came in pretty fast and a lot of folks got trapped in the tunnels. I only heard parts of how it went from there. Sanitized for the bereaved. You know how these big companies are. But there was gossip too. The trapped miners couldn't get the pumps going because the water, but the power was rationed. So they shut all the lights off. But even then it wasn't enough. So I guess it was dark when they... You lost some people down here, didn't you? We all lost people down here. Well, not all of us. Most of us. It doesn't matter now. L look, this this old turntable is still wired up. The controls are dead, but I, I can use my signal generator to switch tracks. If the water hasn't damaged it too much. Or we can just keep heading down this tunnel. All this junk hanging up around the turntable is from the company store. Just junk, you know? The miners would buy it and use it to decorate the place. Or as landmarks, I guess. Hard to know which way is down, uh, is which down here. It's all so dim and grey. Shannon connects two clips, lead LEDs from her signal generator to the turntable's electri electrical panel. We're on the track between the animal bones and the rowboats, so... Uh, Jesus, I don't know. The pendulum and the casket. All right, let's head forward. So it seems we've got a lot of different routes uh, in this mine. And I'm going to certainly hope that we've just taken the right one straight away. Otherwise, it means there are different adventures that we are not expecting. Replayability, yeah! Unless it all just leads to the same place. I'm not turning this light off enough. Nah. Oh. I didn't know those were still down here. Where am I going? Hey, come back. What was that? Look, there's a tape player down there. One of those old reel-to-reel -reel setups. When this mine was active, a couple of folk music ar archivists uh, spent time here. Archivists? Archivists? Spent time here rec recording minor songs. Really academic, ivory tower types. Now the miners really talked to them much. So they stayed at the margins, observed, took notes, and then sometimes they'd get someone on a lunch break to sing into their microphone. Then I guess the power company got some kind of interest in the project and gave the archivist some coal strip tokens to pay the miners with for the songs. Did your parents sing? Oh, uh... Yeah, they sang. They sang in the mine for coal script tokens. Let's try and grab it. A dusty reel-to-reel -reel tape player stashed beneath the truck, loaded with tape but starved for power. So it doesn't seem like... Yeah, this stops here, so... Yeah, we, we need to go back. So, we now have an explanation for what that song was earlier when we met Weaver. Those were the miners, singing. Which is cute. Alright, where is that turntable? It's here, isn't it? Can we actually go further back? It seems we can. There is absolutely no route forward now. We just kind of guess our way. I mean, who knows? Maybe the original way was the actual way, but, you know, we're doing something different now. Oh, we have found something. Stage. Damn. It's almost totally intact. I thought it would have been destroyed. What is this place? 
It's a recording studio, basically kind of thrown together, but this is where the Akravits would record, and I, I guess then they'd sequester themselves down by the tape deck we found to listen to the recorded songs. Did you ever come down here? Yeah. I came here with my parents once or twice. I used to play music here, even when those archivists weren't around. It was a nice setup, kind of rickety, kind of dangerous, I, I guess. But, I don't know, it had a good energy. It was warm, sometimes. Hmm. We seem to be on an exploration route. This is cool, we, we learn history, you know, of, of what we're digging into here. A spooky, mysterious mis uh, history. Not, not, not such a happy mystery. <laughs> it's a depressing game for sure. Well, so far I wouldn't say depressing, but it's kind of. I don't know. It's not exactly light-hearted, is it? <laughs> All right, let's switch to. Uh, so we, we started on the animal bones, let's go to the bat feeder. We, we, I mean, technically I never went right on the original route, but we'll get back there after finding out what's on this route. I really like this transition. Mystical. All right, we could probably go back, but let's go forward. Because that's how life works. Oh, seems to be a dead end. Broken track. The tracks are all messed up down here. This tram isn't going any further. I wonder why it's down that tunnel. Yeah, we can't go that way. So our only way is back. Uh, we are going against the way life works now. It's alright. I had no choice. Is this one broken too? Ooh. Oh, it's a dead end. Do you hear that? Kind of a muffled rumbling. Maybe we're near the surface? Yeah. Sounds kind of like a highway. I wonder why they stopped digging so abruptly here. Maybe they hit a pipe or something. Maybe that's the route zero. Dun dun dun. All right, we're gonna switch back to the normal route and see where that takes us instead. We obviously went down the wrong way right now. Use the turntable. Back to the animal bones and the rowboat. That was the original. So the other two routes were simply just for a little bit of a exploration thing. We did it all. We did it all. So we're not missing any content right here. <laughs> there we go. We seem to be going upwards now, so this might this might be the uh, the actual route. Well, it has to be. It's the only way we can go now. There's a, there's a gate there. We're obviously not going through. Oh, there's light. The exit. Thank God. Okay. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. I just. The tunnel where the tracks were broken, I, I'd like to take a look down there. Uh, oof. Oh god, I could be Shannon. Oh my god, it's making me choose which character to play right now. Mmm. 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 Do you know what? Let's end the video. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna end the video right here, and we're actually gonna do this next episode. I think I'm gonna go as Shannon to explore the broken track. See what's down there. It's kind of mysterious. I don't remember doing this at all. Um, anyway, thank you very much, and of course, if you like this episode, please hit the like button. Say something in the comments. 
just to make uh, me know that you're watching, um, because otherwise it just feels like no one's watching. <laughs> and that's not nice. Um, but thank you very much, uh, and I shall see you in the next Kentucky Route Zero episode. Um, all right. Bye-bye. <laughs>